discuss and like, how do you like the new schemes of Coach Tanuri? Uh, Coach Tanuri is a great guy. Um, he's brought in a great scheme, um, and a lot of guys are embracing it. Uh, it's really aggressive. Um, gives you a lot of different looks. Uh, sophisticated in a way, um, but I think a lot of guys are grasping it. They're really embracing and enjoying it. They're excited for the coming season. How are you grasping? Um, I think I've been doing a good job. Um, I've been able to learn where I fit on the defense a lot. Um, I've been able to gain a lot of knowledge and knowing where everybody else on the defense fits. So I think in saying that, I've done a good job of picking it up um, to the point where I can tell guys where they're uh, supposed to be, whether they're doing something wrong, whether they're doing something right, and um, just be like another pair of eyes or another sort of, um, coach on the field. Um, through Tenuta, I've been able to do that, and I think that's going to be a big point this season. If you could summarize last season in a word, what would it be in why? Um, uh, just listening to the previous interview, I'll definitely say disappointed. Um, going into the season, had high expectations. Obviously, didn't meet them. Uh, we knew we had some young guys, but we felt like we had the talent um, to go out there and compete. And uh, it just uh, didn't come together for us. So this year is another year where a lot of guys got a lot of experience. Um, second year starting, um, just a new desire and a new uh, um, desire for winning. Um, guys know how to work now. Uh, they've been able to fit in their roles, know where they fit, um, being able to talk to one another and just bonding and mold, and I feel like the team's that much stronger this year. How much of a priority are you guys placing on taking the ball away, kind of boosting uh, those turnover numbers? Yeah, um, last year our numbers were down as far as the turnover category, and um, obviously we know we want to go out there and create turnovers, which create energy and the atmosphere, uh, get the ball to the offense as much as possible. So this year we're going to uh, take more pride and uh, looking to create turnovers as far as interceptions and sacks. And I think with this scheme of defense being aggressive, we'll be able to do that and uh, generate a good season. Where's the energy level right now with the team? Uh, the energy level is really high. Uh, guys have been working hard all summer in the weight room, uh, on the field, just trying to develop their bodies, um, develop their skill, uh, their craft. And I think guys have been able to do it. So uh, leading up to camp now, I think guys are very excited to put on the pads. Um, get back out there with the coaches and uh, just continue to learn and continue to grow with the um, coaches as well. Uh, we feel like we had a great spring, so we're just ready to get back at it. What impact will the new uh, enforcement of helmet-to-helmet -helmet hits have on your game? Uh, obviously, guys want to go out there and be physical, you know, um, just just display their physicalness on the opponent, you know, create a little bit of fear when they're going up for passes and stuff like that, but you obviously got to do it within the rules, so... We're going to work on um, tackling, form tackling. That way we can go out there and play at high levels and uh, not get penalized for it. What went through your mind when you saw BYU and Oregon? That's your first two games on the schedule. Uh, that's like a dream schedule, you know. Um, growing up as a child, as a kid, growing up watching TV, watching sports, you want to be in big games like this. So for the hottest opportunity, you know, you just got to take advantage of it and um, just show people where you stand and just go out there and win. With a more aggressive uh, approach on defense, more blitzing, more pressure packages, how much of an adjustment has it been for you and the other guys in the secondary you know, with the possibility of playing more man coverage or, or more zone coverage? Um, it's it's going to give a lot of relief, you know. Um, not always just sitting back, uh, waiting to see what the offense is going to do to you, just pressuring them, allow you to dictate a little bit more. So, I mean, that's going to be some advantages and disadvantages um, for that. But, um and the off-season guys are really working on their technique because we know it's going to be the difference out there. And uh, we just got to rely on each other, you know. Guys covering just got to rely and uh, know that the pressure is going to get there. And um, the guys rushing, they just got to know that the coverage is going to um, work and give them time to get to the quarterback. So we're both, uh, we all know it's a relationship of give and take, and we're just trying to work at it. Anything else for Anthony? All right.